Yes. Now, Star Wars is pretty cool, and our next guests are so rad, I feel like I need to slap on a pair of sunglasses just to be as effortlessly wondrous as they are. Say hello to my friends and yours, Billy Lord and Kelly Marie Tran! <laughs> was gonna be exciting. Oh! I love Kelly Moore! <laughs> Hi, ladies! Hi! Oh, I'm so excited that you're here, and I don't know if you can tell, they're pretty excited, too. Star Wars your entire life. What does this saga mean to you? Well, I think like everybody here, Star Wars is more than a movie to me. It's my family in this crazy way. It's literally my family. Um, yeah. And it, being here is the most magical, wonderful feeling. I've been going to Star Wars celebrations since I was a tiny little human. I'm still a tiny little human. I'm only 5'2". But <laughs> since I was an even tinier little human. And it is just so, it's like a weird, magical, galactic family reunion for me. <laughs> Some people do barbecues and cookouts. I do Star Wars celebration. <laughs> so. <laughs> So this movie is everything to me. And especially now that I have my own son, it means even more. Uh, and getting to show him these movies is the most, I just feel so lucky that I have them and that he gets to know his grandma through these. It's just, I, nothing could be better. Oh, that has to be like such a cool feeling and also, one day he's gonna have so much street credit school. Man, I hope so. <laughs> Not from me, definitely from her. <laughs> and I have to ask, what's the difference between filming Star Wars and American Horror Story? Which you are phenomenal Woo! on, by the way. Um, definitely very different. Uh, both iconic, love them both deeply, but Star Wars, you film a scene sometimes over a week or more. <laughs> Horror Story, you film 900 scenes a day and it's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta get your dialogue out. We gotta do like two takes and get this done. So it's a crazy fast paced thing. Whereas Star Wars, you can see in the movies, there's so much attention to detail. Not that there is an American Horror Story, but they really take their time on everything. But the awesome thing about both of them is the fans and people love that show and people love these movies and it's just so awesome to be a part of them. But they're so different, but they're so similar at the same time. Yes. Oh. Interesting <laughs> galaxies far, far away and some down the street. And some just <laughs> down the street and being murdered. <laughs> now, Kelly, you were first introduced to the fans at Star Wars Celebration Orlando. How has your experience with Celebration been all these years? I love Kelly! Um, it's been so wonderful and so emotional and just, I think everything that Billy said is so true. Like, Star Wars is so much more than just a movie. It's a community and a family and a lifestyle. <laughs> and I just feel really grateful to be here and to be part of this family. We love you, Kelly! But we really do. We really love you. you we really love you, we're obsessed. Things. Like, well, I have the opportunity to give you your flowers. You know how much you mean to me personally, and I wanna say thank you for all that you've been to me the last year, because I love you pieces. I love you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And what is it about Rose that you think resonates with people? Um, I think she's a normal person. <laughs> I think from the get-go, it was the thing that attracted me most to her was that she was someone that didn't come from, like, she wasn't, you know, from, like, a, a legacy or, like, she was working in maintenance and she was someone who saw resistance heroes as someone, as people who were really far out of her grasp, but then she got to become one of them. And for me, I think it symbolizes how a lot of times in life we can feel like maybe because of the places that we come from or because of the backgrounds that we're from, we might not believe that we can do things, but we can. <laughs> uh, and I think Rose is an example of that. I, I would like to think that, you know, my journey has been very miraculous in the way that, in the world that I came from and, and where I am now. And I just think that if anyone here wants to do something that they think is impossible, um, it might be possible if my, if my journey can, can help you believe in that. So, <laughs> yes. so outside of this, obviously this amazing friendship that you guys have formed through this bond, what are some of your favorite memories with your castmates? Wait, outside of this? I mean, you can talk about this all you want to. I love the okay, clothes all day. Go, 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 listen. <laughs> listen. Should we tell the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, tell the story. Well, <laughs> uh, Dominic Monaghan. Did I say it right? Yes, Dom I did Monaghan. It right. My hero, Beaumont, Beaumont. for president. We yes. love Beaumont. Anyway, <laughs> he, for some reason, thought Kelly's name was Kelly Ann. And so <laughs> he just called her Kelly Ann for, like, the first half of production, <laughs> thinking her name was Kelly Ann Tran, which is a beautiful name, but it's a lot. It's a big rhyme choice <laughs> that I don't think her parents made. No. But we just like let him run with it, and I have her on my phone as that. Yeah, and we also got the whole cast, yeah. and we got JJ to start calling me Kelly Ann. <laughs> so it became a thing that everyone was doing. And the only person who didn't know it was a joke was Dom Monaghan. <laughs> and then he was so devastated when he found out and felt so hurt, but, but in the best way. We love him so much, we and we love him. Beaumont. We love Beaumont. <laughs> didn't we have like a ship name? Like Ronix. I don't Mont? remember what it was. All I, I remember is that, like that Billy and I were constantly running around set being like, Beaumont! Beaumont. Beaumont! Every time I drive through that city, Beaumont, I don't know if anybody knows where that is, I'm always like, Dom, I'm in Beaumont! <laughs> it's really cool. He's the best. He's the best. Oh, I love that you guys have that. And while I have you here, I would like to take a second, and I would like everybody in this audience to just give them the loudest round of applause and love that you can. I want you all to leave here knowing that you are surrounded by a galaxy of love and how appreciated you are. It is an honor for me to sit next to you and for everyone here to be able to give you your flowers. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having us. And making me cooler by association. More from Star Wars Celebration Live coming right up.